Warning, this video contains explicit language, you fuckers. I just gotta ask you something, because you said you were in a coma for four days. Yeah. And I'm just sitting here thinking about it. What, what's that like? Or you feel like you just slept four days, two, or what no, happened? I happens? thought it was two hours. I had you, you two hours, like it feels like well, when you wake up. What happened was they put me on so much fentanyl and stuff. I was like out, and then they had to put me in a coma because the, they thinned my blood so much it was running all through my body, becoming toxic. And they, my wife Jenny, God bless her, was with me at the hospital three days. She finally went back to the hotel to get some sleep. Soon she gets back, the phone rings. You gotta come back. I was on a ventilator, and they said, we have to amputate his leg, it's not working, or he's gonna die. She says, well, you have to wake him up. So I can tell him, you know, I don't want him to wake up and, you know, he'll be missing a leg, and then she'll think that I said, honey, pass the salt, you evil bitch, you cut my leg off. <laughs> you know, she had to get them to take me out of the coma. Oh, wow. And she's telling me, we have to take the leg. And I was so out of it, maybe it was good. I said, do it yet. I mean, you gotta go. <laughs> but she saved my life. And at the next day, I'm talking to Howard Stern on the air. He says to me, I'm really sorry, man. Well, where's the leg? Do you know how much money we can make with that leg on eBay? <laughs> What'd they do with the leg? I said, it's probably in the Mississippi River. I don't know. Yeah. You know, that's what he was concerned with. Yeah, yeah. But it was, that's why yeah. Howard rules. But oh, my, you always had legendary appearances on Howard. Everyone oh, remembers he's that. He's the best. Man. How is yeah. your, most importantly, before we go to the break, with, with that in mind, how is your health now? How do you feel now? And, and what's the prognosis going forward? You good? I have my blood sugar under control. And unfortunately, the prosthetic, I, you know, I've had two of them. And for some reason, my balance, I just can't get my balance. I tried it at... Uh, God bless them at Kessler Rehab. They put me between parallel bars. Mm -hmm. But they said to me one day, bring the guitar in. So they wanted me to put the guitar on and see if I could balance myself. Uh -huh. And I actually lasted 30 seconds. Before I started to go, I said, I, I don't want to be worrying on stage about falling. Yeah. Or, you know, they gave me a bracelet that says fall risk. You have oh, to really? wear, like, no shit. If you're, if you're down on the ground, right. I guess you are a risk. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, you can, you can play like Angus on the ground, you know well, what I'm saying? Yeah. You can spin around. Good idea. Yeah. But that was, uh, take me out of the coma. I didn't know. She said, I thought it was like the next day. We were supposed to play on a Friday night. Saturday night rolled around. I was already in the hospital. And uh, <laughs> I said to Jenny when they woke me up, I said, how long have I been out? Like an hour or two? She says, You've been out for four days. Well, we're glad you're good now, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Very good. Well, both of you. Well, both of you. Both of you, yeah. Nick Spray has been through his stuff, too, so yeah. glad you're yeah. helping you. get ready to rock again, man. Thank you.